This yeah. what you think? You, you got it all wrong. Then why are you chasing them, bro? <laughs> hey, you listening, damn it? Stop chasing them and they'll listen to you, man. It seriously ain't like that. You got to you got you're not you're not making them believe with you, with your actions. You, you got to say with your actions. Looks like a high schooler. It don't look like no high schooler. The image is unfocused and it's hard to tell who it is. Hello? Hey, did you see it? So what do you think? That was a guy, wasn't it? I wish I could tell what he looked like. Let's get together and talk more about it tomorrow. Golly, you couldn't have waited till tomorrow? He sounded excited to call me, but he couldn't wait. We will now hold a meeting on our investigation of the serial kidnapping slash murder case here in Inaba. All right, you're speaking kind of loud, Yosuke. We got people around. We got people around. Dude, take a breath. Oh, then does that make this place our special headquarters? It can be. Yes, exactly. Nicely put, Yukiko. Special headquarters. Hmm, that does have a nice ring to it. Anyways, as for what was on last night... Hmm. Wait a moment. Didn't all the victims have one thing in common? That they were females with ties to the first incident? That's what we thought. But we still don't know who exactly we saw. In my case, the image on the Midnight Channel changed after I was kidnapped, right? Yeah. The screen got clear all of a sudden, and the program looked like some low-budget TV show. Come to think of it, maybe Teddy was right. Maybe we were seeing the other Yukiko from that world. But last night, we couldn't clearly see whoever it was. Mm. Could that mean he isn't inside the TV yet? Then how are, we, how are we seeing the potential people if they aren't in the TV yet? If so, then... Uh-huh. I think that's safe to assume. I mean, that's the, that's the best bet. Ain't nobody about to just grab him and throw him inside of a TV. Like, this dude was crushing biker gangs. You gotta really, you really gotta really be about it if you just think you're gonna walk up on him and throw him inside of a TV. If we can figure out who he is, can we prevent him from being taken? Yeah, and if all goes well, we might catch the killer in the bargain. But to do that, we need to know who the latest Midnight Channel star is. I hate to say it, but I guess we'll have to wait another night and see what happens. <clears throat> well, that means if my deductions are correct, though the image was hard to make out and we can't say for sure who it was, it was definitely a young male. But if that's the case, it goes entirely against our prior assumptions. Since we cannot identify the person at this time, we have no choice but to wait and see what happens. Perfectly worded, Chie. That's exactly what we just said. No, that ain't what you said, Yosuke. Shut up! <laughs> You're so funny, Chie. She got that evil villain laugh. I like it. That's not how those usually work, but okay. I let it slide. Not again. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this is how Yukiko really is, huh? Who'd have thought? By the way, about that guy we saw? I get the feeling I've seen him before. No, she is still laughing her ass off right now, bro. Was it really that funny? <laughs> Hold on, don't think I didn't peep you back there, Scully dude. Qualcomm! Oh, he's swinging. I told you, he ain't about to just get you, ain't about to just throw him inside a TV, bro. You have to fight him for it. I don't know who he was swinging at, but boy, he really put his shoulders into it. Yosuke, you gotta stop calling me like five seconds after it ended, bro. I could have been asleep. I knew I saw him somewhere. It was on TV. He was on that special news report. He's one scary dude. 
He was even yelling at the camera to get bent. All right, so we finally have a lead. Let's all get together tomorrow, okay? Oh, I almost forgot. It's kind of off subject, but as long as you're on the line, mind if I ask something? Make it quick, buddy. It's something I've been meaning to ask for a while. So, uh, what do you think about Yukiko and Chie? I mean, let's not mince words. Which one's your type? Both. Hey! <laughs> Seriously? Well, you get a better chance that way. You're just keeping it real. Hey, but don't worry. This is just between you and me. Okay? See you tomorrow. It better be. <laughs> the one who was on last night. It's that guy, right? Kanji Tatsumi, huh? He definitely didn't look like the social type. Now there is an understatement. Isn't he really scary? Did you see the new special the other day? Yeah, he told him all to bend over. It wasn't like that when he was younger, though. You know him, Yukiko? I'm gonna need you to elaborate, Yukiko. Uh -huh. But we haven't talked to each other in a long time. His family runs a textile shop, and we've been a customer of theirs for many years. So I speak with Kanji-kun's mother from time to time. Oh, why don't we go there now? We might be able to talk to him in person. Sounds good. At the very least, we can ask if anything strange has come up lately. Bro, nobody's about to just throw him into a TV, bruh. Like, Y'all gonna have to jump him and put him inside that TV. If things get rough, we're counting on you guys. What did you say? Say count on us. Did you see him? But I do have this golf club. Who are you? Hello. Ah, Yuki-chan. It's so nice to see you. Oh, it looks nice in here. Okay. Well then, if you'll excuse me, ma'am. Slender young man. That dude on a case right now. He's super detective. Look how he got the hat leaning forward, covering his forehead. He mean business. I'm sorry that I couldn't help more. It's all right. You've given me plenty to think about. Thank you. That ain't no man's voice, though. Well, they be confusing you by calling him a boy, but, like, that voice could trick you. What's up with him, weirdo? Uh huh? Never seen him before. I don't know. I kind of like his voice. Is that, is that weird? How can I help you today? Are you out shopping with your friends? Oh, um, well, actually... We need to see your young lad. Where is he? Hey, this scarf. I've seen this somewhere before. We need to see that bruiser of a son of yours. Huh? Oh, you're right. Where was that? Oh, it was that place inside the TV! Ooh, Chie, baby. We're gonna have to cover your mouth up for the rest of the day, aren't we? That's right. That room with those faceless posters. You too, Yosuke. I'm gonna have to sock you upside the back of your head. Then it's that announcers. Y'all making too much noise in front of this woman. Are you acquaintances of Miss Yamino? Nope. Never heard of her. Uh, well, kinda. Um, did Miss Yamino happen to have a scarf like this? Yes. It was a special order she placed. She actually ordered a pair. But in the end, she said she only wanted the women's scarf. It left us with no choice but to sell this one separately. Oh man, there is a connection to the first case. What are we going to do? How should I know? Hello? Delivery here for the Tatsumis. No, let me answer it. I won't trust delivery people around these parts. Oh, I'll be right there. I'm sorry. You'll have to excuse me. Lady, don't do it. He might throw you into your TV. It really is connected to the first case after all. Wouldn't it be crazy if all of a sudden we just hear her scream in the background because, like, the dude just shoved her in the TV? Like, as soon as she opened the door, he just said, Get in this TV! Hmm? It's Kanji-kun. Where you at? Square up. What? Quick, hide! What you hiding for, Yosuke? We're here to talk to him, remember? You're not fooling anyone, you know. Shh, I can't hear what they're saying. Got a big ass head, don't he? Get him! Oh. 
Tomorrow's fine with me. Huh? S school. Of course I'm going to school. Why you always lying? He's a grown ass dude talking about going to school. Then I'll meet you at the gates after school tomorrow. Bro, you can't convince me that that's a man, bro. Slender young. Why they gotta put a slender young man? It's like, look how he had his hands on his hips. Come on, bro. I feel like as an undercover woman, like going undercover as a young slender man, as a detective, is part of her disguise. Did, did, he, did he say he was interested? Look at him. He confused. Like, the, the voice, that voice make you start to wonder. He's a guy. And I'm a guy, but he's interested in me? Huh? What the hell are you pricks looking at? You, Scarface. Get him. Oh. No, nah, don't run. Nah, we got golf club, bro. You lucky. If it was just me, it would have been me and you right there. We would have made a scene. Get the hell out of me. He's even worse in person than on TV. I just ran because y'all ran. The one on TV last night was definitely Kanjikun. Yeah, and I just realized something. Remember the common points we were talking about? His mom fits the pattern. She's a woman, and she knew Ms. Yamano. But it was her son who appeared on TV. So what does that mean? I feel like it's... So I feel like the person will be after his mother. But they know that they will have to go through him to get to the mother. So in... They're, they're ultimately both going to be targeted. But his mother's the, the main target, but he ain't about to let it happen. Whoa, I hadn't thought about that. Oh, maybe it's similar to my case. If you think about it, my mother fit the victim profile more than I did. She was the one who dealt directly with Miss Yamano, but I was the one who was targeted. Does that mean it'll be the kid again instead of the mother? This person ruthless. But if that's true, then the killer's motive makes no sense at all. It'd have nothing to do with silencing witnesses or revenge or anything. You think we're on the wrong track? Maybe even the first case had nothing to do with grudges or revenge. Or is there some kind of secret in the textile shop itself? I'm totally lost. It's time to get found. But we can't ignore this. Hmm. Why don't we just go ahead and ask Kanji himself? Let's do it. That's what we were supposed to do in the first place. I don't know why we ran. I heard he's been skipping school ever since the new year started. Doesn't that seem a little suspicious? We are in May. This dude has been skipping suit since January. Yeah. Something did seem weird. That's not even skipping anymore. He doesn't go there. He doesn't attend school. It's not skipping. This dude doesn't go. All right. Let's try staking out both Kanji and his family store. We definitely don't want the killer getting ahead of us. That being said, Yukiko, can I have your cell number? No, you can have mine. If you want to get to her, you got to, you know, come, you can talk to her through me. I'll mediate. Hey, was this your plan all along? Uh, no, I got everybody's phone number except for hers. That's the way it needs to be. And the Y section of my address book needs some filling out. Oh, don't be making the clever face. I see what you're doing here, guy. <sighs> While we're on the subject, could you stop calling me at night just to tell dirty jokes? You be doing what? Ayo, hey, yo, skate. <laughs> Chill, bro. Don't be calling my girl like that at night telling her no dirty jokes, bro. Pervert. Hey, I'm trying to have a conversation with Yukiko here. This dude really be calling shit. <laughs> Can you imagine he just call her up at like 11 o'clock when she sleep? She thinking it's an emergency. He be like, hey, she, hey, guess what? She be like, what? He be like, chicken butt. Mm. You don't gotta do it, Yukiko. You can just give me the number and then uh, if he got something to ask you, he can ask me, then I'll ask you. That reminds me, I need to buy tofu on my way home. Oh, she didn't hear a word I said. <laughs> I mean, we can just find whoever throwing people in the TVs and just jump him. Welcome home. 
Jump him. Is that him? Grab him. Has the target arrived at school? He's not gonna be yes, at school. Visual ID confirmed. Target arrived in zone near the end of his mess break with mother issued rations in hand. Current status in the bathroom fixing his hair. How do we know this? The target was acting nervous. I left my position before he had a chance to pick on me. I wonder what kind of plans they made. It didn't seem like he knew that boy very well. Well, I think there's something more subtle. Oh, he's here. Hey, yo, Kanji. Over here. I didn't keep you waiting, I hope. Yo, this dude here does not match his body, bro. Get him. Oh. You look like he skipped leg day every day. Get him. Oh. No, I, uh, I just got here too. Probably got weak ankles. Get him. Oh. What in the world was that? Anyways, we gotta hurry after them or we'll lose them. Okay, then let's split up into two groups. One team will follow Kanji, and the other will stake out the shop. Roger that! How should we split the teams? I gotta be with Yukiko. I gotta protect her. You know, she was targeted last time. Sure, that's fine with me. Oh man, they're almost out of sight. Come on, Yosuke! So I'm pairing up with Chie? Okay. Yeah, I can't, I can't trust you with Yukiko, bro. I'm sorry. All right, we'll need to pretend we're on a date to make it look natural. That's exactly why I couldn't trust you with Yukiko. I wonder if those two will be all right. They won't. Oh, um, that leaves us in charge of staking out the textile shop. That's right, I got your back. If we see him, I'm gonna grab him and toss him. So, shall we? <laughs> we shall. Sorry about the wait. This one's for you. She got beverages. Everything seems fine at the shop. I hope it stays that way. Do you think the culprit will come? No, it's not foggy. Yes. Ah! Yo, I need courage to have fun, bro. <laughs> it would be scary if the culprit did show up. I got your back. And a golf club. But if they do, I'll do what I can to help you catch them. You all saved my life. I don't want to be the only one doing nothing. Yeah, you just hit him over the head with that bottle of orange drink. I mean, I'm sure there's something I can do. Oh, sorry. I went on and on without realizing. I, I guess I'm a little nervous. I've never chatted with a boy my age like this before. Oh, no. Chie, of course, has no problem getting along with guys because of her personality. But I think she's had more fun hanging out with you and Yosuke lately. <laughs> the same is true for me. Oh, we get close to you, Kiko. Oh, yeah. Huh? O okay, if you want. That's how you do it. Can't always answer since I help out around the inn. But feel free to call anytime. Affirmative. Where did you get that phone from? I don't see no pockets. <laughs> Man, this is weird. Why is he behind her like that? <laughs> They're not even really trying to hide, bro. They were like three feet behind him running. They weren't walking silently. Like, come on, bro. Y'all are awful at this. Yeah. We definitely stand out. No, I mean them. I get this weird feeling about them. Weird? What about them's weird? Um, I don't know how to put it. Maybe it's just my imagination. <laughs> hey, how do you think the others are doing? Beats me. For all we know, he's hitting on Yukiko as we speak. Correct! Yeah, no. He's not like you. I could be. Yukiko doesn't seem to be interested in that stuff anyway. <gasps> Wait, are you saying he's interested in her? Mm. Huh? Uh, 
I, I wouldn't know. Yosuke, you need to shush. You shush your mouth. Oh, we don't really talk about that kind of stuff. <laughs> you hush your mouth, Yosuke. Now I'm even more suspicious. You know something, don't you? Boy, I say hush your mouth. I seriously don't know. It's not like we've been hanging out that long. Don't you say nothing, Yosuke. The hell are you oh, two doing? Oh, Boy, y'all be better get ready. He look like he ready to square up with his uneven head. Get him! Oh, oh well, you see, we're... We're just two crazy lovebirds. What do you mean, bird? Play along, bird brain. Didn't I see you guys yesterday? Ooh. <laughs> Come on. It just so happened that we were walking behind you guys. Pure coincidence. He ain't trying to hear that right now, Yosuke. Hey, our houses are just over that way, so we'll be going now. Um. Look, we weren't planning on getting in you guys' way, and there's nothing strange about it either. She a no, you br you break you blow in the cover. S strange. Why can't you keep your big mouth shut? That's what I'm saying. Whoa, 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 wait! Damn it! Oh. Yeah. What you think? <laughs> you, you got it all wrong. Then why are you chasing them, bro? <laughs> You listening, damn it! Stop chasing them and they'll listen to you, man. It seriously ain't like that. You gotta, you got, you're not, you're not making them believe with you, with your actions. You, you gotta say with your actions. We regret to inform that our mission failed. You had one job. There was nowhere to hide. One job, Yosuke. Well, let's wait here a little longer. Maybe Kanji Kun will come home. If you say so, Yukiko has granted permission for me to forgive you for your failure of this mission. Yeah. Huh? What are you guys doing here? Boy, I know he tired of seeing y'all. Let me holla at him. You're those stupid lovebirds I just saw. The <laughs> lovebirds? We're not a couple! Why are you assholes following me around? That's a good question. Damn it, what the hell's going on? I ain't saying this is you guys' fault, but damn it. Hey, uh, mind if we ask something? Has anything strange happened to you lately? Huh? Strange? What's this strange stuff, huh? Are you saying that I'm strange? Better watch your mouth, Yosuke. Huh? No, 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 I, I didn't mean... Choose your words carefully, buddy. You shitheads better get the hell out of my face, or I'm taking you down! You hear that? What? Wait, why? I look like I'm joking! He's talking to y'all, not me. Ooh. Ooh. Damn, Yosuke. We the protagonists. We take him down. Just sweep his ankles. Uh, oh, too much running. Well, nothing happened today, so I guess everything's okay. Not your forehead. But it's already been a few days since he appeared on the Midnight Channel. If this is anything like Yukiko's case, it'll happen soon. Then we can't let our guard down. I think we should come back tomorrow to check up on him. Bro, did you see him? No one's gonna be... He's too top-heavy. <laughs> he might accidentally fall into the TV himself. Looks like we got no choice. Let's go home. I'm wiped. The boys at school will pretend they're in gangs when they run around. Yeah, okay, you, you tell them to run around you and don't mess with you, right? Camp Town Lady sing this song. Oh, hello? It's Yukiko. I'm sorry to call so late. Um, Kanji-kun seems to be missing. How? I had some calls to make for the inn, so I called the textile shop as well. When I spoke to Kanji Kun's mother, she told me that he left the house and hasn't returned since. Oh my gosh, they 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 tripped him. They tripped him on his ankles, and he his head was so big, he top heavy. So he just all they had to do was trip him, put the TV on the ground, and he just fell head first into the TV. They, like when he's tripping, he can't stop himself. She did say that this happens all the time, but what do you think? No, I think he all right. If anybody tried to really throw him in a TV, bruh. Like they're they're walking away with some scars. They're not about to just sneak up on him and throw him to a TV. Yeah. 
you see something on the screen. Hello, dear viewers. It's time for Bad Bad Bathhouse. What the fuck? <laughs> a superb site for those searching for sublime love that surpasses the separation of the sexes bro oh my god who is that i'm your host kanji tatsumi serving you this scandalously special sneak in report yo what is he wearing right now bro why is he moving like that goodness gracious just imagine the things that might happen to me there Woo. <laughs> <laughs> well then, let's get this show on the road. Toodaloo. Oh, something's up. So <laughs> in front of his ass, crack. <laughs> yeah, what's he? What's he? Oh, Kanji, we need to talk, bro.